Hello from Media Blogs. In this part, I will show you that how we can implement Google Sign In button in Android Studio. So first of all, we need to add compile time dependency in our project. So copy this compile time dependency. I have given this in description of this video. So open build or gradle file of module and paste here and synchronize now. Click here. Okay, so the our project is now built. Close this and open activity underscore main dot xml now add google sign in button here which is inside com dot google dot android dot gms dot common package so give it weight and height as wrap content give it a unique id I'm giving it as login and add a text view to display user user's name which is currently logged in. So I'll give it ID as name. Okay, so now open main activity dot Java file. So create some global variables for sign in button text view and google api client and google sign in options So first of all, inside onCreate method, initialize that sign-in option, which is Google sign-in options. Sign-in option. It requires a Google sign-in option which is a contact constant in Google sign in option class which is default sign in because we are just testing so we are we will use only a default button and we will request for email when user click on the button and then build the same way initialize google api client new google api client dot builder it requires context we are inside activity so we ca we can pass this as a context but if we are inside fragment then we need to first get activity and then we can get context from that activity so pass this here dot enable auto manage it requires two parameters one is fragment activity and the second one is on connection fair listener so the fragment activity we can pass this here because this activity is working as fragment activity and the other is on connection fair listener we can initialize anonymous class here or we can simply implement implement here on connection fail listener so it's it's giving errors so we need to implement its method press alt and enter now implement methods and implement that method on connection fail listener press ok so this method is overridden and error is gone now so now we can pass this here 
because this class is now execute this on connection field listener okay so now add api api is inside of class or dot google sign in api and the second parameter is google sign in option which we have created here so just pass here sign in options and last one is build so this is ready now initialize text view and sign in button so login is equal to find new id or not id dot login now typecast it to sign in option sign in button and also find that text view typecast is to text view okay so set size of that login button there are some constant field inside that sign in button we can use them there are some constant like size wide size icon only size standard so we will use size wide here and it requires scope array sorry it requires array of scope so we can get scope array from that sign in options so sign in option dot get scope array and this is ready so just handle that buttons click so login dot set on click listener and implement anonymous on click listener in interface okay so when that button is clicked this method method will be fired so in this method we will open an intent which will display sign in option and when lo user sign in to that intent and this intent will return some value to our main activity so create an intent get sign in intent okay so it requires google api client so we have already created that google sign in api which is google api client so pass it here and now we will start activity for result not only start activity start activity for result and pass intent and the second parameter is request code so intent is that sign in intent and request code should be from 1 to infinity 1 to 310 so we will create a constant here private static final int Was hundred. So pass that request code here. Okay. So this intent is is ready now. So when this intent will close, this will return some value. So here is a method inside activity, which is on activity result. So here so here are some parameters like request code the result code and the data so we will check that request code with our request code if both are same this means that 
it's returning some values so if the request code is equal to equal to our request code then we will create a google sign in result google sign in result this will be from that intent so we can use auth auth dot google sign in api dot get sign in result from intent so pass intent here we have an intent which is data here so pass that data here okay so we have result stored in that variable and we can fetch google account from this result so create google sign in account result dot get sign in account so this will return information of that account which is currently logged in so we have account so we can get all values like profile picture date of birth email name everything so we have a text view for name so we will cop we will fetch name from that account and set its name so name dot which is from account dot get display name okay so now this will fetch name from that account and set it to that text view okay so this is ready now but we need to provide internet access permission to our application so open manifest file and add permission here uses permission internet okay so now i will run this app in my mobile so i will record a video on my mobile and attach with with this video Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. Share this video if you like this video. Thank you once again.